Hello and welcome to the PC Michigan Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and we are on the free software series where I show you free software that is oftentimes better than the software you can pay for. At my website, PCMichiana.com, we are going to the download section. Of course, you can Google these as well. I just made one convenient location for all the freeware and open source software I use, you know, just for convenience sake. We're going to go down to the free software tools and we're going to select the Corsair Memory Finder today. After you've selected that, go ahead and click to use the Memory Finder. And that's going to load up the Corsair Memory Configurator. For those of you who don't know what Corsair is, it's actually a brand of memory. So this is actually going to show you only Corsair's results for memory. But don't worry, it gives you enough information to shop for yourself. And I'll show you that here in a second. If we do search by product type, this is typically what uh, basically you're going to start with. You, If your system's custom built, you're going to do the motherboard section. You need the model number off your motherboard. You can use a software like CPU-Z, which I talked about in a previous video on the free software series, to help find the model number of your motherboard. There's, of course, laptops and desktops and servers and bare bones. If you don't know what bare bones is, that's probably not what you have. So we're going to go ahead and start with desktops. And then the next easy part is to select the manufacturer. Most of you know what your manufacturer manufacturer is because they have a big logo right on the front of it. It'll say HP, Compact, Dell, or whatever. So basically I'm going to do Dell because it's the easiest one to start with. And then model is usually a little trickier to find. It depends on the brand and make of the computer. And what you need to do is look for a sticker either on the back or sometimes it's blatant. It's right in the front. It says Dimension 3000 right below the logo or something. But either way, you can look for a sticker on your computer and you're going to be able to find this. Like on laptops, it'll be on the bottom side sometimes. But once you find it, you just select it. I'm going to select the Dimension 3000 and click search. Once your results come up, the most important information that you're going to want to write down so we can shop around is the memory type. So you got to have the memory type because this is actually the speed of your memory. If you get memory that's too fast, odds are your motherboard will not support it. If you get memory that's too slow, that's usually okay to put slower memory in because your motherboard will downclock. The motherboard's a lot better at downclocking than it is upclocking. The format is also extremely important. So really what you need is you need the memory type and the format. But that's not all the information the memory configurator gives you. That's why I love this configurator. If you scroll down for the details of your system, it actually says the maximum allowable memory and the amount of memory slots you have. Now these are also both extremely important. You're probably going to want to write those down. You don't know how much memory you have? Well that's simple. Minimize everything. Go to your desktop, right click on my computer and select properties and it'll tell you under the computer section how much memory you have. I have one gigabyte, so let's say I have a Dimension 3000. If I have one gigabyte and only two slots available and the maximum allowable is two gigabytes, that means I need one gigabyte in the two expansion slots. So one gigabyte in each slot. So I'm going to go ahead and go back here and now that I know exactly what I need, I'm going to take this information, DDR333 PC2700, and I am going to go to Newegg.com because this is where I buy all my hardware, or go to your favorite hardware vendor. You don't have to buy it from Newegg. Go to Computer Hardware and select Memory. On the left-hand side, select Desktop Memory. Scroll down to Type, and we said DDR184 pin, and select that. Scroll down to Capacity. We need 2 times 1 gigabyte. Like I was saying, because I only have two slots and I want my maximum memory. Then scroll down and I need DDR333, because that's the information I wrote down for the memory configurator. And the nice thing about Newegg is you can sort by best rating, which is what I prefer, because most people have tested and used it. And a lot of these people are in, in IT, so it's extremely reliable reviews. If you are you know, looking for just the lowest price and a decent rating, you can always sort by lowest price. But $56 plus, free, plus $6 shipping is a great deal for two gigabytes of memory. And that's pretty much all there is to this episode. You basically will be able to write down the information from your system, find out exactly what type of memory you need, and go and shop around for it. Now, of course, they give you the option to select Buy Now here, but they're only going to show you places to buy the actual Corsair brand, which is fine. Corsair is a great brand of memory. But, see, actually, this is only for one stick, and it's $36. So, as you can see, the price difference was pretty significant. But, of course, you can go ahead and do it this way if you'd like as well. It's all up to you. That's all there is to this episode. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings, and don't forget to subscribe and swing by the forum. Things are kind of getting slow over there. And uh, participate in the community. Say hi. Introduce yourself.